welcome back everyone this video is all about advanced conditional formatting um, we will apply conditional formatting and our table and these are we will apply just different types of conditional formatting you have the chapters in the de description that you can check which descriptions and which conditional formatting we will apply in this video so just look to the chapters so let's start and the first one is that we would like to find for example let's come here to the department column and we want to highlight the hr department okay so to highlight that further select the a column after selecting that let's move to the conditional formatting and to the highlight cell rules and text that contains this option so select these options and by default the hr is selected if you want to select someone else so you can just write the name of that so after that press ok so it will highlight so here you can just change the format for example let's apply green color and press ok so we have highlighted the hr uh, department you can highlight in the same way other departments also but let's do it um, dynamically for example which um, department you want so uh, dynamically highlight that so let's first of all remove this one conditional formatting uh, clear rules from this selected area just come here to the top and we will create a list move to the data tabs and to the data validation option and select here list and source in the source are hr it and marketing these three departments press ok so we have this list look at we have this list now based on this list we want to highlight the department so to do it for that let's move back to the um, home and select this column and to the conditional formatting and to the new rules and to the last option use the formula and here we will write our formula our formula is equal to our first uh, cell of our column select that and remove the dollar sign from a row number so after removing a dollar sign from row number uh, then equal to with the cell that we have okay this cell where we have the list the data validation list so press ok so now let's check a list for example it so yeah I, uh, i'm really sorry i just forgot let's move to the conditional formatting to the manage rules i will just apply a rule okay formatting rule so i think we don't have any rule let's just come here and close it select the area conditional formatting and manage rules uh new rules and use a formula and here write equal to the first cell and just remove the dollar sign from row just remove that equal to with this cell and format it and apply for example yellow color and press ok press ok apply it and press ok see right now the it is selected let's select hr the hr selected hr highlighted let's move to the marketing the marketing has been applied it on marketing so it was all about the dynamic way that we did now let's move to the date for example we want to select the different highlight the different dates that we want so let's move okay let's first of all i will just correct the format of this day these dates so let's select now the date column after selecting that let's move to the conditional formatting to the highlight cell in rules and come here a date occurring press this option and here we have different options so you can highlight the yesterday date today tomorrow in the last seven days last week this week next week last month this month next month these all options we have for example let's select tomorrow and the tomorrow is selected look at this is today is the first day tomorrow will be the second date okay so here we can change the format like let's apply yellow color or we can apply green color or just change the text color so it's let's for example if you want to highlight today we don't have the today date there and yesterday we don't have the yesterday and the, in the last seven days we don't have any date for the last seven days last week for the last week we have just okay yes this one this today first and that was the fifth month 23 this week no one and next week in the next week we have two dates 0, 06 8 and 2 like last month for the last month too it is how we can apply the dates highlight uh, as we want now let's to the numbers we want to up highlight the numbers based on the number we want for example we want to find the salary greater than 50,000 so for that select highlight the column conditional formatting 
highlight cell and rows greater than we have less than we have between so we have these different and also equal to but i will show you just the first one and these four are the same it works like that one let's press greater than just specify the number for example forty thousand. it highlighted all the reason for that is that we should specify the dollar sign before that like fifty thousand okay fifty thousand so it will highlight just 70,000 and 60,000, which are greater than 50,000. Yellow. It's okay. We can make it dynamic also. For example, just come here and whenever we write something in this cell, so it will just um, highlight the cells, okay, that we have written. For example, we are, we are writing 40,000. Let's apply a formula, okay, let's select it. Conditional formatting and highlight a new rule and use a formula and here we will write so let's select the first cell and we will just remove dollar sign from row and if it was greater than like this cell okay from this cell so let's format it green color press ok and press ok so let's write something here so to write for example let's write um, just highlight those cells which are greater than like 40,000 and let's add just a dollar sign before that look at just 35,000 remained in other cell has been selected highlighted so let's change this number like 45,000 so just look at the highlighted the cells which are greater than that we can also apply for less than less than and also equal to we can create a formulas like this one uh, now let's apply another uh, formatting that is like we want to highlight the whole row okay first of all i will remove all these formatting conditional formatting okay we don't need so we would like to highlight a row and the row will be based on um, let's remove first of all this data validation clear all press okay so here we have id and here we will write the id number and we will highlight whole row based on that id number so for that let's move over select the whole data move to the home tab conditional formatting to the new rule and to the user formula and here write um, app, let's write the first number the first cell and we will just uh, if it was uh, let's remove it from row yeah just lock the column equal to with this cell if it was if the id number was equal to with this cell format it and apply this blue color press ok and press ok let's apply write an id number 101 so it will highlight the 101 id number let's change it for example to sex number so the sex number row has been applied just select that we can also create a drop down here so let's create a drop down here okay instead of that let's come here to the data to the data validation and create a list and source source will be this ids press ok so let's select one of them look at look at so it is how we can do it okay like this now let's uh, use uh, other uh, formatting conditional formatting like first of all let's use the icons okay for this list of data we want to use the icons and we specify the data based on icons like let's come here to the home to the conditional formatting to the icon set which set of icons you want to apply like this one so far the values which are greater for those um green color for low color for the values which are less for those red color and also the yellow color for example we have different options and even the signal and these things that we can apply like these things and even these things let's apply yeah the first one or we can yeah this one we would like to apply this one now we can change the values also let's move to the manage rules and here we will just edit it okay edit rule so here in the edit rule we want to specify this color okay the green icon is for the values which are greater than like here we can specify uh, which are greater than for um, which cells yeah let's type number and also type number uh the green color are which are greater than 200 
and the yellow color win that is lower than 200 that is okay and win that is lower than zero so it will apply uh yeah let's change it also Uh, when value is uh, greater or equal to with 200 so it will apply green color when the value is less than 200 and greater than 100 so it will apply e yellow color and the values which are less than 100 will apply a red color the red icon press ok apply and press ok so let's check it ok greater than 200 greater than 200 200 and 200 and this is less than 200 less than 200 and less than 100 100 and 100 it's how we can apply that we can also apply other sets like let's move back to the conditional formatting like color scales so to apply the color scale we have different colors that we can apply okay these different options that we can do like this one so we can also manage these rules as we did for the icons we can change the values for these also uh, also let's select this one conditional permitting data bars we can use the data bars also how much looks it good looks it like look at we have different options like this we can apply the data bars also let's use now the sparkling a very good tools okay for visualization so let's use the um a spark link select here and come here to the insert come here to the spark link we have these three types let's for example we want to apply the columns or yeah line so here this is the location this is the location which has been selected okay i38 this cell and here we will select the data and that is for horizontal data just select the data and press ok so look at the line let's drag it down so we have applied the links we can change it okay change for example let's change it to the columns which we have changed like this and also let's change the color whatever you want so you can change the color but the let's make it like this but the line looks like very well let's change the type this one so it looks like this so it is how we can use the spark links also so it was all about the conditional formatting in ms excel so if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel like this video and comment down thanks for watching